After much talk about Tesla's line of EVs, such as its cars and the infamous Tesla Cybertruck, the next project Tesla will have going on will be the Tesla Semi Class 8 electric truck. But getting into the trucking industry with electric trucks is surely going to be a difficult thing to do and execute well. The electric semi-truck industry is only picking up as of 2022, with very few companies actually making them. And now, with Elon Musk's recent announcement of 50,000 units of the Tesla Semi to be produced solely for North America, later expanding to other countries annually from 2024 onwards, the big question and the topic of today's video is where will Tesla be producing these electric trucks? With such a massive number of trucks scheduled to be ready by 2024, Tesla needed to build a factory specifically for the manufacturing and transportation of Tesla Semis. And thus, the Tesla Semi-Truck Gigafactory was born. But this will cause a huge shift in the multi-billion dollar trucking industry due to the shift from fossil fuel to electricity now being used to power the trucks. While it would be a win for the planet, the existing truck factories may have to face a massive overhaul because companies like Volvo, Daimler and Tesla are all announcing electric semi-trucks to be released from 2022 to 2024. Elon Musk seemed very positive and confident about the production of the trucks, even claiming the company's first buyers will be Pepsi in this tweet. Quote, Excited to announce start of production of Tesla semi-truck with deliveries to Pepsi on December 1st. End quote. We're happy for you, Elon, and we appreciate the reveal of the release schedule this early. But please don't let this be another never-ending Cybertruck release fiasco again, okay? The first semi-trucks are being built close to Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada, with the mass production of Tesla semis expected to take place at its own semi-truck Gigafactory Texas site near Austin. If you are wondering what the semi-truck looks like, then take a look at this video that Tesla shared in 2021, showing the truck driving along a test track at its factory in Fremont, California. So, with production already in progress and a ramp up to be expected, what is the Tesla semi truck all about? Besides the safety of electric vehicles to the environment, it also has major benefits to their cargo and drivers. As Tesla puts it on its official website, quote, semi comes standard with active safety features that pair with advanced motor and brake controls to deliver traction and stability in all conditions. A central seating position gives the driver better visibility, while an all electric architecture reduces both rollover risk and cabin intrusion in case of an accident." End quote. The initially produced Tesla Semi will have a range of 500 miles after a single charge, with cargo. That's a lot of range for a vehicle that has a gross combination weight of 82,000 pounds when fully loaded. Later, there will also be a version with a smaller battery pack and a range of 300 miles after a single charge. Tesla Semis will also come with excellent chargers that are supposed to recover up to 70% of range within just 30 minutes of charging. Tesla has not revealed the battery capacity of the truck, but considering the energy consumption target of less than 2 kilowatt hours per mile, it might be below 1,000 kilowatt hours. That means that at 50,000 units per year, the company would require 50 gigawatt hours of batteries only for the Tesla Semi. One way or another, the Tesla Semi at full scale basically would consume the entire production volume of batteries at the Gigafactory in Nevada. On the upside, with such great batteries and a strong engine, the semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds fully loaded, and maintain highway speeds even up steep grades. Another interesting thing worth mentioning is that if Tesla delivers on its proposed 50,000 units per year, it would become the second largest manufacturer of Class 8 trucks in the US. The leader Daimler's Freightliner trucks totaled about 100,000 in 2019 and over 71,000 in 2020, according to Statista's data. Besides safety benefits, a big selling point for the Tesla Semi is its low-cost maintenance after purchase. Charging with electricity will be approximately 2.5 times cheaper per mile than refueling with diesel. Operators can see estimated fuel savings of up to $200,000 within their first three years of ownership. With remote diagnostics, over-the-air software updates and fewer moving parts to maintain, comes less time spent at service centers and more time on the road. When it comes to Tesla's first buyers of the semi-truck, PepsiCo confirmed on Friday it would take delivery of the Tesla semi-trucks on December 1, 2022, becoming the first company to receive its orders of the much-delayed electric vehicle. Pepsi also said in a statement that the trucks would be used in its Frito-Lay plant in Modesto, California, and its PepsiCo beverages factory in Sacramento. The beverage giant has been aiming to reduce fuel costs and emissions and reserved 100 of Tesla's semi-trucks back in 2017, when the vehicle was initially revealed at Tesla's Los Angeles event in November that same year. 
US companies have pledged to take action to reduce their impact on the environment, with PepsiCo aiming to achieve net zero emissions by 2040. Other companies, including United Parcel Service, Walmart Canada, and food service distributor Cisco Corp, have also placed pre orders for Tesla's semi trucks. It is clear by now that many countries are undoubtedly trying to reduce their carbon emissions and go green as much as possible. And to that regard, Tesla's semi truck, along with its line of cars, will be at the forefront of the EV market. Moving on, so far we've covered the importance of having a separate gigafactory solely for the production of Tesla's semi-trucks. But what about charging ports and stations for those EVs? Tesla has been spotted using a mobile power pack battery system at its first mega charger station for the Tesla semi-electric truck in Nevada. The details of this charging station are still unknown. Last October, Tesla was finally deploying its first mega charger station at Gigafactory Nevada to support its upcoming fleet of Tesla electric semi-trucks. And while Tesla has been leading the way in terms of charging infrastructure for electric vehicles with its supercharger network, it needed something more to support electric semi-trucks. It needed a new solution, and with the unveiling of the Tesla Semi in 2017, Tesla unveiled its plans to deploy Mega Chargers, a more powerful version of its supercharger network that can add 400 miles of range in just 30 minutes. Most recently, Tesla power packs have been spotted at their Nevada factory location to help estimate and supply the overall energy required for a set of semi trucks for a full recharge. The power packs are also assumed to be a backup charging system for the semi trucks in the future when they are in circulation, which won't be too long from now. As for the mega charging station itself, Tesla installed its first mega charger at their battery gigafactory in Nevada in 2021. Their first public mega charger installed outside of the US was in the Frito Lay facility in Canada in January 2022, when Tesla semis were initially expected to be on the market. Tesla semi trucks will be a game changer for the trucking industry for sure, but right now time seems to be of much importance to Tesla to meet their gargantuan delivery of 50,000 trucks by 2024. And let's not forget the various mega charger stations that would need to be installed to support them. So, what do you think of the Tesla semi? And do you think Tesla will actually deliver 50,000 units in 2024? Let us know in the comment section below.